As we wrap up Sexual Harassment and Assault Awareness Month, here's video of the 704th Military Intelligence Brigade's first ever motorcycle ride for sexual assault awareness. The convoy started from Smallwood Hall and ended at the Anne Arundel County Sexual Assault Crisis Center in Arnold, Maryland. Also this week on Mead Week, Fort Meade's Holocaust Observance. The Army 10-Miler qualifying race is coming up. And a new housing survey is coming your way. All these stories and more, but first, the Fort Meade Public at Works Environmental Division staged the installation's annual Earth Day observance this week. Earth Day is a worldwide event first celebrated in 1970 to demonstrate support for environmental protection. This year's celebration, held in the Fort Meade Pavilion, featured dozens of vendors and displays, all with the environmentally friendly theme. As Fort Meade begins preparations to celebrate its 100th birthday, one display featured conservation posters from yesteryear. Echoes of Nature returned this year with another live animal display. Diamondback Terrapin. I don't think there's any reason to fear this turtle, no matter what it's called. A couple of vendors highlighted a hot subject, micro or small space farming. I spoke with Air Force veteran and Glen Birdie resident Kim Roman, well, owner of Square um, Foot Gardening for You. You can do as large or small as you want. It doesn't have to be a four foot by four foot. It could be two feet by 23 feet along a fence line. And um, I would just encourage everybody to start small, to go ahead and give it some thought. What do you like to eat? What do you not like to eat? And go from there. Don't grow three zucchini plants if you're the only one that likes zucchini or if you don't like zucchini. It sounds good, but I was a little skeptical about how big an impact a small garden might have. Just say four foot by four foot raised bed garden. You can get 16 different vegetables, herbs, and flowers in that little space. And then you can use each square two to three times a growing season. So it can be tremendously small and get a huge impact out of it. Roman speaks to schools, churches, and service groups throughout the area. She can be reached through Square Foot Gardening for You in Glen Burnie. Elsewhere, the first week of May has been designated as Holocaust Remembrance Week. Fort Meade's Equal Employment Opportunity Office and the 902nd Military Intelligence Brigade hosted this year's observance. This year's guest speaker was Holocaust survivor Mr. Ruben Steyer. Steyer, living now in Virginia, began by relating his story of the Nazi invasion of his hometown in Poland and his liberation by the Allies from Bergen-Belsen concentration camp. And thanking all of you here, men and women, you saved my life. I was in the concentration camp and I was at the end of the line. I was as close to dying as anyone could be until I was liberated, not by the Americans, but by the British. But you both fought hand in hand. So I'm grateful to both the American soldiers and the British soldiers and everyone else that rescued me and gave me, literally gave me life. Steyer had much more to say on the topic of freedom. Mostly I speak in schools, and when I speak in schools, I remind the students how fortunate they are to be born here and having the opportunity that every one of them has, including adults, not just children. We have something that no very few people in this world have. And thanks to all of you here, you are the guardians of this country. You make sure that we have that peace, that we have those opportunities. In other news, the Fort Meade Army 10-miler team qualifying race is coming up Friday, May 6th at Murphy Fieldhouse. The top seven men and the top seven women will race to determine who represents Fort Meade this year. The Army 10-miler is scheduled for October 9th in Washington, D.C. Runners must be active duty military and assigned to Fort Meade. For more information, contact Beth Downs at 301-677-3318 or stop by Murphy Fieldhouse. Finally, this week, news from Corvius Military Living. They're asking all residents to complete the 2016 Army Residential Communities Initiative, or RCI, resident survey. The survey gives on-post residents an opportunity to provide the Army, RCI, and Corvius on how their housing needs are being met. An electronic survey will be mailed to all residents on Thursday, May 5th. The survey runs through June 6th, and to provide a little incentive to complete it, Corvius is giving away a weekly $250 prize and an opportunity to win a grand prize of $2,000. Residents of Reese Crossings are eligible for a weekly $100 prize and an $800 grand prize. All survey answers are confidential, and housing residents are encouraged to offer honest responses. That's all for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great Mead week.